A lot of folks don't realize that North Carolina is the second largest state for solar capacity, um, right behind California. We declared our intentions to become a 100% renewable city by 2035. Most recently, about a year ago, passed a, a very important uh, local RPS of moving 100% renewable electricity for muni operations by 2030 and the entire city, uh, including theme parks, by 2050. We've got, as I said, the demand for clean energy. Buncombe County and Asheville have passed 100% renewable pledges. Wake County. Uh, is going to be, we hope soon, passing Renewable Energy Pledge. It's the second largest county in the state. So the city of Atlanta, for example, has a 100% clean and renewable energy goal um, by 2035. This past session, a very substantial bill was passed. The Grid Transformation and Security Act, and it dealt with energy efficiency, it dealt with solar, it dealt with grid transformation, modernization. We are second in the country for EVs on the road. The Atlanta airport, we are the world's busiest. We've got 150 cities. Um, we have 105 million passengers coming through each year. Atlanta's going to be one of the greenest cities in the country, most sustainable. And I want the airport to be one of the greenest in the world. House Bill 589, which is primarily focused on solar uh, and really um, focused on the competitiveness of solar. As the price of solar has dropped, it's now competing with um, traditional fossil fuels. Um, and that was passed under a uh, Republican-dominated legislature. And our organization is absolutely committed to transpartisan action on climate. And we're hoping this is just the beginning of this kind of dialogue. The Southeast is incredibly important in our country. Um, and we've got to get to the place where we're all working on this together. What you do is really help us create the demand for change. You help us uh, demand accountability and transparency. So thank you very much.